Hello friends, in this video I'll, I'll be talking about McClock Pitts Neuron. So let us discuss what is McClock Pitts Neuron first then we'll do a question. Okay, so there is a fixed threshold for each neuron and if the net input to the neuron is greater than the threshold then the neuron will fire otherwise it won't. So let us see what is the uh, architecture model for this. See all these are the input neurons x1, x2 till xn, xn plus 1, xn plus m and this is the output neuron. So the input neuron can be connected to the output neuron with a excitatory weight. Excitatory weight means which is greater than zero or it can be connected with the inhibitory weight which is less than zero. Okay, so it can have both excitatory width weights and inhibitory width weights. Since firing of the output neuron is based on the threshold, activation function is defined as f of yn is equal to one or zero where yn is greater than or equal to theta and yn is less than theta. So our main task in such kind of questions will be to find out the value of theta that means for which value of theta the output neuron will fire. Okay. So now if inhibitory weights are used then the threshold with activation function should satisfy the following condition that is theta should be greater than n w minus p where n is the number of input vectors w is the number of excitatory weights p is the number of inhibitory weights. So there is no particular training algorithm involved in this Mac clock pitch neuron. Analysis has to be performed to determine values of weights and threshold. So now uh, let us come on to the question. Question is to implement n naught function using MP neuron, use binary data. So for n naught function, the output is high whenever the first input is high and the second input is low. So we'll construct the truth table 000, 010, 101 and 110. So we have to make it in such a way such that the output neuron fires for only this case 1, 0 because we are getting a uh, one value here and for all other cases it is 0. So let, let us see how we'll proceed. Since there is no training particular training algorithm involved so what we'll do is we'll assume the weights. So case 1 we'll assume both weights to be excitatory that means w1 equal to w2 equal to 1. Now the second step is to calculate the net input for the four inputs using yn is equal to x1 w1 plus x2 w2. Now let us see for four inputs 1 comma 1. For 1 comma 1 it will become x1 is 1, w1 we have assumed is 1 plus x2 is 1, w2 we have assumed is 1. So it will become 2. For 1 comma 0 it will be 1 that is uh, x1 is 1 into 1 is the weight which we have assumed plus x2 is 0 into uh, w2 that is 1 that is equal to 1 similarly for 0 comma 1 we'll get 1 for 0 comma 0 we'll get 0 so now let us see is it possible to fire the neuron for the case 1 comma 0 only that is for this case see what we can do is if we set theta is greater than or equal to 1 then all of these values will get fired and if we set theta is less than or equal to 1 then all these values will get fired that means for such cases for such weights it is not possible to fire the neuron only for the input 1 comma 0 so that means we have to change the weights so now in second case let us assume one weight as excitatory and another as inhibitory that is w1 equal to 1 and w2 equal to minus 1 now for the corresponding values of w1 and w2 we will calculate net input for 1 comma 1 we will get 1 into 1 plus 1 into minus 1 we will get 0 for 1 comma 0 we will get 1 into 1 plus 0 into minus 1 we will get we will get 1 for 0 comma 1 we will get 0 into 1 plus 1 into minus 1 equal to minus 1 for 0 comma 0 we will get 0 now it is possible to fire the neuron for 1 comma 0 see for 1 comma 0 now it is possible how because we can set theta is greater than or equal to 1 in this case why because theta is greater than or equal to 1 for only this case because for all other cases it is less than 1 so we can set it for theta greater than or equal to 1 we can set or we can also see value of theta can also be obtained using the formula theta is greater than or equal to n w minus p where n is the number of uh, the vectors that is x1 x2 that is we have two input vectors into w w is the number of excitatory weights since we have assumed w1 is 1 and w2 is minus 1 so we have one excitatory weight and one inhibitory weight so we'll uh, we have w as 1 and p as 1 we'll consider only the magnitude we'll not consider the sign here so p is 1 and w is 1 so theta is greater than or equal to 1 can also be obtained using the formula uh, theta is greater than n w minus p this output of the neuron y can be written as y is equal to f of y n equal to 1 or 0 where y n is greater than or equal to 1 we'll fire the neuron 1 
and for uh, wine less than one, we won't get fire. We won't fire the neuron, so we'll have a value zero. So now the final uh, diagram can be written like this: x1 and x2 connected with base one and minus one to the output neuron. Okay, friends. So let us end this video. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.